Hey guys, Chris, welcome back to my channel, and today we'll be covering all the Prepara openings. It's been a while since I did a ranking, and if you'd like to see the Pre-Chan opening ranking, I'll be sure to leave that in the description and make an info card. With that said, let's get right into it. In last place, we have a rather cheap and disappointing ending for one of the last seasons. Shining Star is the final opening, and by god is it beautiful. Cheap looking, but beautiful. By this point in the franchise, the openings had devolved into a highlight reel of performances and chords with no real interesting movement. We open on some lively footage of Lala, and then the cast is all posing. It's very sentimental with the bright lights, almost like a memory. We get some chord shots here and there, but sadly, we quickly cut to some sakuka, then immediately see recycled footage. It's very awkward and jarring to see Lala and Mire get so many frames just for Sophie to slide in and remind us what the budget for this opening was. It honestly feels like they gave up halfway. Was there no budget? No time? I don't know, but this is a terrible opening. The final OP is no time to be holding back. For all these sins, it has to stay rooted in last position. Next up, we've got a song that I love, and if you've seen my rankings, you know Wasta is a huge bias of mine. However, not even they could save this one. We open with Yui and Lala falling apart before Galala divides the screen into the colors of her and her sister. The logo locks in, and then we give up. Do you like PNGs? I like PNGs. I use them for thumbnails. At least we get some pretty chord art. It's not even timed to the music though. I feel like they didn't really think much, and it feels like a lot of the animation is on a completely different timed loop than the music is. It's very strange and just unambitious. Nino and Michiru get some really pretty transformations though. We get to see an ominous shot of Falala ensnared in thorns, captured by her sister. There's also a really stunning shot of Pripara being destroyed. It's a very powerful ending, but a few sakuga cuts can't save a bad opening. That's why it's right next to the bottom. In 11th place, we're gonna watch Prepara struggle to end a season once again. Memorial is our very last opening, or so we thought, and it does very little but highlight the characters in light almost like they're in heaven and we're singing goodbye. It's actually quite similar to Shining Star in this way. However, the song really moves me and is honestly the only reason it's not dead last for me. Everyone's friends, everyone's idols, and it's very sentimental. I don't care for the opening and I don't have much to say because it didn't move me or show us a lot about the plot. So I would say it just barely misses out on being in the top 10. If its animation was better, it might have stood a better chance. But with that said, let's move on to the top 10. Now at the start of the top 10, we've got a pretty mediocre song accompanied by alright visuals. Realize has really pretty animation, but the song is just meh. We open with Lala winking before seeing her alone over an empty lake. We see a few chords and then cut to the twins as we pan across Xion. It's a nice introduction. The next few cuts are actually pretty fun. With a quick tease of the new characters, we get some fun chord shots. First with Nan waking up a sleepy Lala, then she's in Candy Alla mode full of energy, and finally there's Holic Trick. At the end of the sequence, there's Twinkle Ribbon and the chorus kicks in. There's a really nice shot of all the side characters, including Gloria and Lala's mom, finally reunited. It's here where we see the cool shot of Dressing Parfait and Falubu. This is one of the best cuts in any of the openings, and I'm surprised they don't go for abstract shots like this more often. Instead, we're often reduced to transformation sequences, which once again this opening does have. It does have an excellent direction though, and I have to say, it's a really good opening to end a season. One of the few that actually does its job right. So it sets a new standard for the openings we're going to be seeing in the top 10.
Our next opening is bright, playful, and catchy. Coming from season three, we have... A light descends from the sky and we see Lala falling like a shooting star. There's gorgeous shots of our main girls with pretty framing, so much color and life with just a few frames. Nan is introduced to the main cast and she's added to the shot of Triangle from Ready Smile. Arumageddon get their SCRs and their new brand, Love Debbie. Finally, we get a cute shot of the units and the mascots. There's some stock footage of the lives which is timed well, but other than that, the final shot is way too long. It's a real shame that the openings of this season were very unambitious. Overall, it's a good second OP, full of bright colors and great energy. Visually, I'd say it's pretty unique too, so it deserves its spot in the top 10. At number 8, we have one of my personal favorites, right in the middle of my favorite season. This one takes place during a pretty interesting time in the anime, the Dream Parade. There are some pretty shots showing just how many characters we have now, and all the fun they're having together. We see the Phantom Thief, Mirei's Grief, and even the new subunits, the Prepara Police and the Prepara Nurses. I think it's a pretty great opening, except for the random cord Lala wears for a frame in the actual anime. Lots of interesting shots and framing, giving it tons of personality. It shows us the new characters, units, and even teases some plot lines. For doing its job pretty well with a uniquely moody song, it gets the 8th position. At number 7, we've got one of the greatest songs in the whole franchise. Going On starts with a shot of our main three panning out to show the large cast. We see a few chords with Lala front and center before cutting to pre-tickets, showing how everyone's friends and they're all connected. Lala falls through some footage and the girls get to dance in 2D. I think it's a really fun number since we rarely see them move this much in 2D and it really captured my attention as a child. I have to admit, this is the opening I've probably listened to the most. It's just a really good song that starts off calm and builds up to the concert at the end. I also love how seamless the merch is. Rather than just appearing, it actually relates to the lyrics and the themes. While we don't get what's going on plot-wise, it captures the season's mood, which is more important sometimes. It feels so fitting to finally cover Ready Smile. Believe it or not, this is the opening that got me into idol anime, and without it, this channel would not exist. So what makes it such a great opening? One word, pacing. This opening is jam-packed with exciting shots that catch your eye, and great animation. It's really hard not to pay attention. We open to the quick merch shot before the cast flies through space, giving us a good impression of their personalities. It's so much fun to watch and makes you wonder about them. As soon as the logo fades, we're hit with a new baby, I mean merch, and glorious Sakuka of Lala. We introduce the main six and get this really pretty shot of Gaidomageddon. I love how much they look like a family here. This is one of the scenes that I've probably seen gift the most in fandom. The next few character shots are intriguing, but not much else. They're mostly there to set up Triangle. In a great shot with Julie, we see the new mics and view the new gimmick. There's more flying shots and honestly, some of the best timed live footage we've ever had. These shots of the girls' SCRs aren't the greatest, but they do their job of ending on a high note. I really like this OP a lot, and there's always something to look at. I also think for once the recycled footage was kept to a minimum, which is rare in the season 3 openings, which is why this is the best one. So with all that said, what lies ahead of us in the top 5? In 5th place, we've got one of the best second openings of a season. Miracle Paradise is mostly an introduction to the new rivals. It's a really catchy tune with a few teases for the plotline. We start with Lala and her idol self meeting, 
before the logo appears and you see her family, schoolmates, and the new rivals. Salami's smile is a trio now, and their friendship is shown before we meet Dressing Pafé, their rivals. Dorothy's self-absorbed, Leon is shy, and Xi'an takes up a lot of space really confidently. It's a quick look at their personality. After some nice shots at the Silum Chords, it's time for Unicorn, our newest mascot. As Lala rises through the cast, the chorus hits and Falalu's virtual life is really smartly represented by placing her in the pre-passes. There's really great visuals in these early openings that you just don't see in Season 3. Salami Dressing gets this one shot, which I believe is intentional, because if it was just a group shot then I feel Falalu would be there, but yeah I feel this was a tease for their 6 person unit. Overall it's one of the best because it starts with the girls meeting at Prism Stone, and then transitions to the idle parts of the show. If I saw this opening out of context, I would definitely be able to tell you what Prepara is about. At number 4 we've got a pretty pastel opening with a great Wasta song to boot. Idle Time opens with one of the best in the franchise. A coherent color palette, great timing, and genuinely beautiful shots. Let's take a look. We start with our dual protagonists with the bells chiming in the background. They get ready while we scroll through our new characters. We cut to the usual chord pan, which is really helped by the thinner lines and the pastel backgrounds. The palette is a lot more desaturated than the usual bright hues of the other openings. When the chorus kicks in, it's timed perfectly with a transformation, and it just looks incredible. Lala echoes Yui's transformation, and this leads us into Falala's introduction. The shot of this mysterious woman trapped in gears is really ominous and a great way to end it. Overall, it's a really good start to a new season. We know the characters, we see the world, and we even get something to think about. Apart from that, it's just very visually cohesive. The pastel palette, the timing, and the parallels between Lala and Yui throughout. Hell, I think this is one of the few times we don't have recycled animation. Overall, this opening gave me a lot of hope for this season, so it deserves its spot near the top 3. Speaking of new seasons, let's look at the best one. Season 2 was the greatest time to be a Prepara fan. The constant new music, characters, and chaos made this a pretty great arc and it all starts with Dream Parade. In many ways, this opening calls back to the original. A brief silhouette reveals Lala, and the crowd welcomes us back to Prism Towers. We quickly meet her friends and they all leap into action, full of joy. Kuma and Usagi get some rare spotlight as they argue, before a new mascot draws their eye and we meet the remaining two. As the gates open, we're introduced to Arumageddon. Mikan and Aroma have a clear contrast and we're given three chords to make an impression. Lala stands as the Stylum charms rotate, teasing the two new types. As the girls fall through the sky, Arumageddon coalesce to reveal three silhouettes. In a flash, they're gone. I think that this is just the basics of an opening, but done really well. For a new season, it teases the new characters, the new mechanics, and it gives you a lot to be excited about. It's also just a very energetic song. And I don't know if I'll be able to use clips because for a couple of years this was the only opening that was nearly impossible to upload on YouTube, so we'll find out soon enough. Alright, we're almost at the top, and the second best opening in Prepara is also the most recent one. Everyone remembers where they were when this dropped. This is the most animated opening because wow, there are frames and everyone is moving. There's actual cuts and so much sakuga that you could just re-watch this on and on and on. We start with a glorious shot of the city and meet Lala on the wall. She's bathed in light like a goddess as Amari reaches out. It's a very divine beginning as Amari unlocks the world of Prepara. In just a few seconds, we meet our old units, but one of them is clearly in turmoil. Evergold looks at Shuka with concern, as she's clearly disconnected from them. It's also relevant that Yui is missing from the shot of my dream. 
Amari walks in and the girls gladly welcome her. She runs forward, but her shadow reveals a darker form. A rogue page of her book transitions us to Dark Nightmare, standing menacingly on a tower. From here we see the merch and we cut to the best transformation in the whole series. It's incredible. But we're not done yet. There's so much packed into the last 10 seconds. Mario is here and there's a giant vocal doll crying. There's also these amazing abstract shots of Amari and Yui. It's a top tier opening for pretty much any anime. It's so rich and packed with such fun color that it's really hard to look away. Now if only Idle Time would actually start airing. Alright, we've made it to number one. We've seen the most recent opening. Now let's take a look at the first. This is where it all began. As the first OP, Make It carried the weight of a massive reboot. So how did it do? The opening starts with a pre ticket that leads us into the girl's paradise Prepara. As we cut to the sky, we meet Kuma and see our two main characters. Lala runs past the cast, including an ominous figure cloaked in light. Next, we get a really flowy, gentle shot of Lala cycling through outfits. It's so good, I keep using it in all my Prepara videos. The pan across Lala's friends really helps to drive the theme of friendship, and also ends by revealing Sophie. Lala transforms and it's really snappy. Mireille's arms are just moving everywhere in this sequence. As we conclude, Lala dances, and Sophie dramatically poses. It's a really strong introduction. Great music, great timing, and really snappy cuts. I also have to acknowledge nostalgia for this one, because if I'm being honest, Make It was used a lot, and its use in the final arc of this season made me love it so much more. I used to play it all the time. So that's my personal ranking of all the openings, and I'd love to hear yours. If you enjoyed this, be sure to stick around for more Magical Girl and Idol content, I'm also open to suggestions if you'd like. But with that said, see you guys next time.